All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Taste Tester. Um, today, we're going to be trying something from a restaurant that I, I've, I've had plenty of times. I uh, just haven't done any reviews um, for their place yet. So, um, But this is something that I wanted to do a, a, a test, taste test on when I first heard about it last year. But apparently, my we're doing something for Culver's. Uh, my Culver's didn't... Uh, Apparently didn't get the uh, the stuff that well the the whatever whatever it is the the curd I'm doing the curd burger I guess it's called actually called the curder burger right that's the that's the first time I've had heard it called that was this most recent release which this one now is is actually I think going through Halloween today is the the fourteenth so um, I want to say I think they just dropped this like within the last couple of days but i'm like i better go because it's for a limited time so once they run out so I, like i didn't want to wait until like the last day or the last week or whatever i'm like i better get there as soon as possible because you never know they might run out so but uh but yeah apparently my my culvers didn't have the the curd patty or curd i guess curd or burger but uh which is so stupid to me. I don't understand why restaurants do this. Like, fr like major chains. But yes, I know they're franchises. And but if they're gonna if they're gonna be running, a, say a Subway, a Culver's, a McDonald's, Burger King, whatever, all restaurants, all of those should be the same. You shouldn't be. You know, you shouldn't go. Because I, when like somebody you know does different deals, there's so many times in the comments like on Facebook or whatever, people go, yeah, it doesn't work at my store. It doesn't work at my store. It's like, why not? Then if 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 that store doesn't want to run the same promotions as pretty much all the other ones, then they can't be a franchise anymore. That's bullshit. Because you should be able to get the same deals anywhere you go, even if. You know, I know in some locations stuff is maybe more expensive. Um, Cause I know Burger King just released a ghost, which I, I, I actually, I, well, I don't know. I guess, honestly, the price I paid for this guy is only slight, or I guess that, that new burger at Burger King, which is a ghost pepper Whopper, um, is only slightly cheaper than this. This was $8. Hopefully it's worth the eight dollars. From what I've kind of read reviews from other people, it might be, but we will see. Um, because you can't always take other people's. Which, you know, if you're watching my review, you're like, like, oh, whatever. But you know, you can't. You gotta, you gotta take them with a little bit of grain of salt, but then also go try them for yourself. Um, Culver's makes amazing burgers. So honestly, I think even without the cheese curd on there, I'm sure it's gonna be probably pretty good. Because I don't, I don't think I've ever had a bad burger from from Culver's. They're all top notch burgers. But um, yeah, to get back to my point, it's like all restaurants should carry all you know, or all the you know, all Culver's should carry carry the same same thing. But then you're like, well, you know, but then like if you go to another country, like it's it's crazy. You could go to McDonald's. People say, you know, like when you're doing a tra when you travel abroad or whatever, you don't want to go to places that you can get in America. But if you go to McDonald's, you're gonna get different shit there. They don't like they have like waffle fries. Um, when I was in Europe, I stopped. I think we actually, I think we went. There was a couple of different times we stopped at McDonald's, and they had stuff that they didn't have here in the United States. They had like waffle fries and uh, oh god, that was so long ago. I can't even remember what else there was, but. You know, they have the the main staples like the Big Mac and the whatevers, but they had others like and they have they'll have like different McFlurries and stuff like that. It's like and then you hear about those and you're like, why the hell are those not here? Like you hear about like crazy shit they make in like China or Japan or Pizza Hut Japan, what China. Like they have these crazy ass things and it's like I think Americans would love that shit. How do we not have that here? It's strange, but anyways, I don't want to get this this to get too cold, and I'm really freaking hungry, so. But yeah, like I said, this is, uh, 
This was an $8 burger at my Culver's. Um, maybe more, maybe less at yours. Um, I know, like I was mentioning, that Ghost, uh, Ghost Pepper Whopper at Burger King. Um, my restaurant was, my Burger King is showing it as $7.79, but I saw a guy who reviewed it. He said he, the price he put in there was $6.99, which still, mm, I don't know, but... But I heard it's it's not it's not bad. So, alrighty. So here we go. Um, I do have all the toppings on there as well. Um, this is only a single a single patty burger because um, because basically the cheese curd itself is pretty much a whole another patty. And I was gonna say the cheese curd itself is probably bigger than the patty. So there it is. There. Look at that. Look at that. The cheese curd is, is pretty damn big. Um, almost bigger than the bun. That's crazy. Yeah, look at this. Okay, let's, let me take off this bun here real quick. But yeah, look at this thing. This thing is... Like, look at that. That, that, this, this curd patty is, is bigger than the, the burger patty. So, because yeah, I would say... That yeah, I would say there's probably double double the curd versus the the burger. So, but alrighty, here we go. Piece of lettuce there. Alrighty. Mm. Mm. what it kind of looks like. I don't know if I want to. I feel like I'm going to drop stuff if I do this, but. So that's what it looks like once you kind of get half of it bitten into. Kind of squishes the curd down. It's not, not oozing out of there, which is good. But yeah, you got your fresh, fresh veggies. I get everything on there, which I'm not even telling you sure what everything is, but we got lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, onion, mayo. But I don't think they put ketchup or mustard on here, so that's just probably good. So, and they make them fresh. So that's one thing they do take a little bit longer to get them at the at the in the drive thru or well, even if you go in. But they're so good. They're so much better that way too. And no napkins, god damn it. I think I got some napkins, some napkins laying up here, so. But, uh, yeah, unlike, yeah, these are made fresh, unlike McDonald's. Holy shit, I saw some, I've seen some, there's people who do, I suppose it's on TikTok, I, I don't do TikTok, but maybe I should start, but I don't really want to, because the TikTok is for the devil. The TikTok is for the devils, so. Anyways, um, like people will post videos of where they work at and like somebody who does like McDonald's videos and you like, they just like pull out a tray of burgers. Like it's just a tray of just burgers in a thing. It's like, ugh. I mean, yeah, they still are pretty good, but, uh, yeah, they're not fresh like this. Mm. Mm. If you've never had a Culver's Butter Burger before, oh my God, you are missing out. They are so damn good. And every once in a while, I'll get coupons. 
Seems like it's been a while, but they're two for six. Double, I think it's like their double deluxe or deluxe double or something like that. Oh, two for six. That That is an amazing deal because I think, I don't even know what the burgers are normally, but $3 for one of those burgers. Or, well, three for, for two, well, three three a piece. You get two burgers. That's a pretty good deal. I think that was the last of the meat there. I got a little bit of meat there. I still got some more of the curd. Curd burger left. Yeah, I thought it was just called the curd burger, but I don't know if this with this this re-release of the called it the curder burger, but I don't remember the er. I don't remember it being curder. I thought it was just curd burger, but maybe it was a curder burger. Mmm. I'm sure you can probably tell that I'm already going to rate this, but uh, it is damn good. Five out of five. Honestly, I don't know if I've had... I swear, Culver's makes the best burgers. My goodness. They weren't so damn expensive. I'd probably go there more often, but God. Kind of worth the price. Jesus, that, is, mm, that was good. And it's like, even though that thing was huge, it was like, I don't know. I don't know if it was... Because I was getting more of the the other stuff, and I was getting more of the burger, and I don't know, like I, I like I it, it was if I didn't necessarily see the 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 Curter burger there, I don't know if I would have uh, noticed any difference. I suppose there's a slight more of a, I guess you kind of get a crunch with your onions and your lettuce, anyways, in the pickles, but I don't know if I necessarily noticed real real difference. The butter burgers are just so damn good. It's like, mmm. Let me know if there's a better burger out there than the butter burgers. Man, that is that was a good ass burger. It hit the it hit the spot. I'm still I'm still kind of hungry. Um, once I saw the, I was maybe thinking about doing two of them, uh, and I know I could have probably done two of them, but for eight dollars, uh, probably not. Uh, But I did see that uh, foot one, or, uh, foot one. Subway is having a deal. Uh, see, my Subway ha always has the deal, so I don't ever have to worry about going, oh, shit, I don't know if my Subway is going to honor this promotion. They always do, so. Uh, but they got some sort of $7.99 footlong meal deal. It's like, but I don't, really, I don't really need the chips or the drink. I just want the sub. Preferably for $5. A $5 footlong. You know, they got... They probably made a shit ton of money off that. And they're like, and then all they've been doing lately is just jacking up the freaking prices. As I say, last month in September, they had a uh, a footlong pass, which I, I bought and took advantage of. Um, I pretty much had a sub, a footlong, every day. I think there was only two days that I, I, I didn't end up using it. But, and... For the most part, I, I kind of, you know, tried different things that I normally wouldn't. I kind of stick with the tried and true. I do like the chicken bacon ranch, the sweet Chinese, uh, sweet onion chicken teriyaki, um, a steak and cheese. Um, but they dropped a bunch of, like, they, there's like the, I have a Subway, se Subway series where they have 12 different subs. And I tried a big majority of them. Uh, I think there was ones that was kind of just like cold, cold cuts and stuff. I kind of, I skipped those, but I tried all the steak and cheeses, the monster, the outlaw, and I think that's the, the main basic one. Those are all really, really good. Um, and then I want to say, I think I tried all the chicken ones too. 
Those are all pretty good as well. Um, I did try, they had a meatball one with with their new Belgosio, Bel, 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 whatever the hell it is, uh, cheese. And that was pretty damn good. And they didn't, and they did, you don't want to put any extra toppings on like like the meatball. You pretty much just want to go with the meatballs and the cheese. Put a little bit of Parmesan on there, but no no lettuce, no. I I maybe kind of thought about maybe some banana peppers, but I'm like, no, nah, I'm just gonna go straight. You no know, no no extra toppings. So anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling on about Subway. This was about Culver's. So anyways, five out of five for the Curter Burger. That shit was. Honestly, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 5 because that shit was fucking good. I, woo, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to get, the, get, get some more of those. Try it again before it, uh, before it goes away for good. I suppose they'll, they'd probably bring it back, you know. I mean, might be like Taco Bell. They'll go, hey, uh, every freaking couple of months they bring back fucking nacho fries. It's like, why not? Why? They have stuff on their menu that they, they leave on there forever, but yet nacho fries, which is something they should probably have all the time, they have them for a month or two, and then they take them away, and then they come back another couple months later, oh, nacho fries again. It's like, why? Why? What is the point of doing that? And they'll, like, they'll, like, they'll introduce new stuff, and then, like, a month, like, it'll be, like, up for, like, a month. And then it goes away. And then next month, they come out with something else new. And, and it's like... I know it, it's it's to get people in, but it's like... It, are there seriously people who are going, Oh my God, Taco Bell's got the whatever back. The Enchirito. They just had some sort of stupid contest to bring some shit back. And I swear I've had that before. I don't I don't know. That, that name doesn't sound super familiar to me, but... Looking at what it was, I, I seem to remember something that I would, I think it was a, no, I think it was like a smothered burrito or something. I don't even know if they still have it or not, but it was, it looked very similar to what this Enchirito was. Uh, but it was, I, it was like some sort of smothered burrito, but that's what this Enchirito looked like too. I'm like, I'm like, is that what I was eating before? Is that what I was, because I would order those quite a bit and they were like, they seemed to be like cheap and I would just, I'd buy a bunch of them. And then I could easily just throw them in the fridge and then reheat them and they were still good. So I don't know why I'm rambling on so much. Uh, I'm not even, I'm not even stoned yet. So I should get stoned though. But uh, I, I, was, I just, I just got off work not that long ago. I basically got off work, stopped at Culver's, came home. I had to change into a different shirt. Um, but uh, my HWMF sweater. But uh, <coughs> that was, yeah. I highly recommend if you live by a Culver's or within driving distance, I, I wouldn't. <clears throat> Some people do crazy shit for, for things, but uh, I, I, I don't know if I would necessarily. I don't know how far I'd go out of my way to to try it. It's like I wouldn't go. I wouldn't make an hour. Well, an hour two and an hour back. I wouldn't do a two hour thing to to go try it. Uh, well, that, you know, I don't know. I, I say that, but I, I, I was highly, highly considering um, making a two-hour trip. And that's just one way to, uh, what's it called? Is it, I think it's just called Moe's. Moe's Southwest Grill, I think it's called. They had something... Oh, when was that now? That might have been two years ago now, it might have been. Maybe it was only maybe it was only a year ago. Might have not been that long ago. I would say within a year, year and a half ago, they they were celebrating some some birthday and they had this massive ass two pa I don't even remember what it was now. It was a one power. I don't even know. It was like a massive massive burrito they have like a massive burrito they have like a massive burrito now but this thing was even more massive and i was i was seriously considering and there was a there was a there was a uh uh a girl i was talking to on tinder she's like you know hey 
Yeah. She was down for it. And then until she, I don't know, ghosted me or whatever the fuck it was. It's like, I, I, I should have, that should have been a red flag that she was like, yeah, let's do it. I was like, really? Mm. I was going to say, yeah, I, I, it should have been a red flag right there that she was like, so yeah, let's, let's go do this. But I was like, I'm like, okay. I just, I just couldn't believe it. But, uh, but yeah, I never, I never did get up there. I was, I was thinking I had one closer to me and until I did more research and found out that I, I, I don't know, it had closed a long time ago, but it still kind of showed that they were in this, in the town that I thought they were in. I'm like, it took me a good, maybe five, 10 minutes to, to figure out that they weren't there anymore. Cause I look up on Google maps and I'm like, I'm like, well, this is recent probably within the last couple of years and I'm like okay is this an older older picture that maybe they're not they they were they weren't there yet or is this a newer picture where they aren't there anymore and to come to find out they ain't there anymore it's like and there isn't any in my state as far as I know it's like how do you go from having one in your state to not having one anymore in your state but I guess apparently we had 7-Elevens and stuff around my area too. And now I, I, shit, I don't even know. I don't even know where I can find the closest one. I think it, usually like when I go to Colorado, I see them all over there. But pff, they ain't anywhere around me, that's for sure. So anyways, I have rambled on way too long. If you stuck around this long, I definitely appreciate it. Um, go ahead and comment down below what your thoughts are. If you've tried the Curter Burger and also what... What fast food place has the best burger? I'm talking like fast food, McDonald's, Burger King, Culver's, uh, In-N-Out, which I'm not anywhere near, or what what a burger, which I'm nowhere near as well. Uh, White Castle, I have had plenty of White Castle. Um, I was just I was just thinking, was it, yeah, yeah, it was just yesterday. I'm I'm going to go to a concert for Halloween and last year after the concert I'm like I want to go to White Castle and 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 this is in Minneapolis which has quite a few White Castles except that all of them but one are closed and the one I go to or well I guess the only one that's open I go to and I I should have said no Right then and there, when I saw the damn line, holy shit, I was, I waited for my food, I would say for a good hour. And that's waiting in line and all of that. I'm like, I, I don't know why I did it. I was like, I just want some freaking White Castle. But not this year. I ain't not, I'm not doing that this year. I'm going to go, I'm going to go find somewhere else to, Theater, or maybe I won't even worry about it because by the time the get concert, the concert gets over, it's gonna be like late anyways, and I I try not to eat after a certain time. Um, depends on what time I'm going to bed, and usually I try to go to bed early, but but anyways, um, yeah. Let me know down in the comments. Best best fast bur fast food burger you've ever had. Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next taste tester video or taste tester supplement review video or I don't even know what I'll put out next so um I've got so many videos in my in my bank right now it pfft, I need to get some shit uploaded so anyways like I said thanks for watching guys stay tuned for man, uh, the next video and I will see you guys later peace